Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Monday morning now. I have my sweet baby boy asleep on my chest. He has been consistently taking morning naps and today he's taking this one on me because he was not feeling his bassinet this morning, which is fine. I love this little outfit. It was Nora's and it's a little gap sweatsuit that has little ears on the on the head. It's just so sweet. Um, so if you watched last week's vlog from last Sunday, then you know that last week I shared our Thanksgiving. And so when I'm filming right now, my parents just left to go home last night and we had such a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend with them. We spent, um, obviously all day Thursday together, you know, thanksgiving -ing. <laughs> And then the day before on Wednesday, my mom and I cooked and prepped all day and the boys hung out with the kids. It was just really fun. And then on Friday and Saturday, we spent a whole bunch of time with Riley's side of the family. So it was just like a family oriented, family centered weekend. We had a really great time. So that is that. Welcome to our fresh new week. <laughs> Excuse me. I just put a Jolly Rancher in my mouth. So I'm sucking on a Jolly Rancher, but I just got up to my office here. It's two o'clock on Monday afternoon, so I've spent the morning at home with the kids. We put Nora down for her nap, and I'm actually up here alone. I don't have Colin with me, so I'm gonna try to get as much work done as quickly as possible so that I can get back home. I will need to be home in about three hours to nurse him. Um, so I'm working on Black Friday orders. I was up here last night for about three hours, and I got about 100 orders packaged. And so I have about another 100 that I need to do today. So when I get those orders printed off, I get to work. I just finished my work for the day, so I am going to pack these up and head home. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I just made myself a big glass of iced coffee. Riley just left for work and Nora is still asleep, which is unusual. I do think she's going through a growth spurt because of just some different things. Like she's been sleeping a lot lately. She's been eating more, that kind of thing. So um, that's what's up this morning. I am going to enjoy this coffee. I have Colin strapped to my chest. He's kind of fussy right now too. Um, I think he might be going through a growth spurt too. <laughs> he seems hungry and he just nursed. Um, so I'm gonna get myself something to eat, probably nurse him here in a second. And we'll see when Nora decides to get up. Happy Tuesday. Hello, it is a little bit after noon now and I am up at my office. I'm getting ready to package some more orders. I got so much done yesterday which was a huge win and I have quite a few more to do today. I probably have another mm, 30 or 40 which shouldn't take me too too long. So I'm gonna get some computer work done here first and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my packaging. I'm feeling a little bit refreshed. Um, it has been so nice to come up here solo. Um, I've been coming up here like every day or every couple of days to get ready for Black Friday. And then now, of course, I'm packaging everything up that was ordered from Black Friday. And sometimes I come up and I wear Colin in a baby carrier and that's fine, but it makes my back hurt after a while because I'm leaning over, I'm trying to package and fold things, and then I have this extra, you know, 12 or 13 pound weight, like weighing my front. Um, and so I've just been nursing him before I leave and then leaving for about three hours and then coming back and nursing him. And it's been great. 
like he's doing great. It's nice for me to have a little bit of a break, even though I'm working, it's still a little bit of a break from, you know, the constant, you know, holding and all that. And Riley gets some good time with the kids. So it's been a win, win, win for everybody. So that's what I'm up to. I'm not gonna waste any more time chatting because I have some work to do. Let me see if I can find somewhere in this house where you can't see what a true disaster it is. Um, and let me mute this television so it's not so loud. Um, it is, I don't even know, about nine o'clock now. Nora is still up. She has a stomach ache and so she's acting kind of funny. So Riley just walked her outside so she could see the Christmas lights because he spent this evening putting up the Christmas lights on our house, which is great. I spent this evening finishing up all of my Christmas shopping online. I just have one person left to buy for and it's my sister's um, husband, my brother-in-law, and I'm waiting to hear back from my sister if there is something in particular that he likes or wants um, rather than me, you know, just purchasing something for him. I know him pretty well, so, you know. So I spent um, the latter part of my evening doing that. The earlier part of my evening, I spent having like the biggest headache trying to figure out Etsy because for Black Friday, we only offered made to order quarter zips because I had like obsessively checked online the stock levels and they were really, really good for that one garment and pretty much, not pretty much, straight up every other garment was almost completely out of stock, like in all sizes and colors. Our sweatshirts, our short sleeve tees, our long sleeve tees, it's just been such a nightmare. And um, the quarter zips were in really good stock. So we decided to offer them as a made to order option for Black Friday. And we offered them and literally like in the past 24 hours, the stock has just plummeted. And it is such a frustrating situation. And so I'm having to email customers. It's, it's only affecting about 10 orders out of about 300 orders. So it's really not that bad. <laughs> Percentage wise, it's just really annoying. I hate that a customer has ordered something and then they're I'm emailing them and saying like do you want a different color or you know How do you want to handle this and I have different options for them? So I'm doing the best I can but it's just so I'm so tired of these stock issues. They've been going on all year long It's a result of supply chain issues as a result of the pandemic and so It's just really hard that I can't It's affecting every industry and I realize that so the greater picture is just like our whole world has been affected and this is just such a small thing but in my little world trying to figure out how to run a small business when i cannot get stock is so so challenging so riley and i were just talking earlier tonight about what 2022 is going to look like because we're going to have to totally change the model of how i operate my shop because the made to order model isn't going to work anymore because there's not enough stock to do made to order and even when there is it can change so quickly which is what i have experienced here so that's that but i am so thrilled about getting the um i'm sorry if the lighting is really bad right now it's a little bit better i am so thrilled about getting my christmas shopping done i have a google doc christmas um gift spreadsheet that i've been keeping since 2018 so i know down to the penny the exact amount i spent on everyone that we buy gifts for in 2018 2019 and 2020 and now in 2021 and so i keep a detailed list of each person gift ideas whether it's been purchased the cost the final cost amount whether the gift has been shipped if it has to be shipped and then the final total that we spent so it makes it really easy to budget for christmas because i now i'm looking back on three years of gift buying and I know like I said to the penny and I can look back and see what I've gotten people because sometimes it's like oh I think he would like this or she would like this and then I look back and I'm like I already got them that <laughs> so I find it super helpful I just have different tabs in the same spreadsheet that I that I do that for I should probably do the same thing for birthdays maybe I'll start that in 2022 just different people's birthdays that are coming up um, and that kind of thing but that's what the rest of my day has looked like. I was up at my office earlier and I was talking to y'all then and I got a lot done while I was up there. I got all of the rest of the orders out and so now every order that is still open contains a quarter zip which is again made to order. So those I placed a big order for all of those that I need today. They will come in mostly tomorrow but throughout this week and so we will get them embroidered as soon as possible and then shipped out as soon as possible. So it's been a good day. 
the quarter zip thing is such a headache, but these supply issues, like I said, have been going on all year long, so it's nothing new. It's just more of the same. <laughs> Pray for creativity because we're trying to figure out how to keep this shop open and thriving with very few garments to spare. So that's the story. Anyway, I am super thirsty right now, so I'm going to get a big glass of water and head to bed. Riley just walked by me and he's putting Nora to bed, I guess, going outside to look at the Christmas lights. Finally wore her out. Poor thing. She's not, she's not herself right now. Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is December 1st. December is my favorite month of the year by a million points. And I'm so excited that it's December. I almost said Riley. Nope, this is baby Colin. He is in his little Hannah Anderson outfit and it has Christmas tree trucks with Mickey inside. I, it's one of the very first outfits I bought for him when I found out I was having a baby boy. And when I found that out, it was, I think maybe February or March. So all of the Christmas stuff was on major, major sale. Okay, Nora, I'll hold you in just a second. And so um, it was like awesome. So I got a whole bunch of it. So this is day one of his cute Christmas wardrobe. Riley just left for work. Um, I am dressed, I mean, I'm just wearing like a t-shirt, but I washed my face, brushed my teeth, brushed my hair. I don't know if you can really tell, but I also got a shower last night. I'm feeling good today. Um, Nora, Nora's crawling through my legs and playing with Charlie. Um, <laughs> two of them play all day long Charlie and Nora I am just so grateful to be to be feeling so good in my body on Monday which was is it oh it's Wednesday I said it was Tuesday it's Wednesday December 1st um on Monday that was seven weeks since I had Colin so he's seven weeks old in a couple days and when I was seven weeks postpartum with Nora, I was, okay, 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 all right. I was 100% miserable. Um, I was in so much pain. I hadn't even begun the healing process because I still had three, one surgery and two other procedures ahead of me. It was a hot mess. And this time I'm feeling so great. Like I feel like back in my own self. I feel really, really good. So I'm going to get some coffee this morning with this little Christmas tree boy and this little girl who's crawling between my legs. And um, we're going to kick off our Wednesday, not Tuesday, Wednesday, December 1st. Hooray! Nora, uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm hot now. Oh, you put a hat on and where to go? I know. You don't know? Let's see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you put in a little hat on him? <laughs> Two little ears? Oh. Oh. Oh, a hat for Mama. Thank you. Now, can you check his heartbeat, Doctor? Okay. Okay, go ahead. What's it sound like? Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Wow. I knew it He has a boo-boo? Okay. Okay, what does he need? Bubba. Okay, go get it. Uh-oh, it's Bubba now. <laughs> it went away. Okay. Oh, he needs a passy? Okay. <laughs> it's Bubba. He has a boo-boo. Nora, if you become a doctor or a nurse or something in the medical profession, I will be so bah, glad. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> this video. What's that? Bah, bah. Oh. Bah, bah. Yeah, yeah. You're a doctor? <laughs> doctor Nora? <laughs> wow. <I know. laughs> you have the cutest, silliest sister, Kali. Let me get that out of there for you, boo boo. You getting hungry? In your cute little outfit and your little Santa socks? So sweet. Oh, what's that? I'm Boba. Aha. I'm Boba. I'm Boba. Oh, it's 
checking his temperature? Uh -huh. Does he have a fever? Uh -huh. Don't put it in his mouth. Does he have a fever? Oh, Yeah. Good job. We are out walking. I've got Nora here and Charlie and baby Colin. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. It's like 65 degrees and sunny. So she's probably more bundled up than she needs to be, but we're just walking around the neighborhood, enjoying this beautiful weather. Are you getting sleepy? Are we taking a walk? <laughs> yeah. We just got home from our walk and Nora was way overdressed. I had a lightweight sweatshirt on and I was so hot. It is like 65 degrees and it's just sunny and gorgeous. My kind of weather on December 1st. So Colin just went down for his morning nap. Nora's playing up in her little playroom area. And so what I think I'm gonna do is gather up all of our fall decor and put that away so that the house kind of has a chance to breathe for a hot second before we start to bring out Christmas, which we will probably do tonight. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start kind of piddling around the house and picking up fall. We don't have tons of decor for fall, but we have probably one good um, bin of it. So that's what I'm gonna work on while Colin is napping and Nora is um, playing <laughs> words. All right, I've gathered up all of the fall decor. There's really not that much. I also have a couple of fall dish towels that are in the washing machine right now. My pillowcases, covers are down here, some blankets. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this all up so we can get ready for Christmas. Good morning and happy Thursday. I've got this cutie patootie. He's got his little Christmas outfit on again today, another one. Um, Riley just left for work and Nora is still asleep. She has been sleeping so much lately. She's definitely going through some kind of growth spurt because she doesn't have any other symptoms. So it's not like she's sick. She doesn't have a fever or a runny nose or a cough or anything else. She's acting totally normal, but just really sleepy. So I'm like, oh my gosh, you're growing, you're growing, you're growing. Um, this day is beautiful. It's gorgeous outside. Um, I... I'm going to see about taking the kids to the park. One of my friends called me this morning and said she's taking her kiddos over to the park and she wanted to see if we wanted to meet her there, but she's heading there like now. So we'll see when Nora wakes up and what kind of mood she's in and all of that, but we might be going to the park. Tonight is exciting because I'm meeting a couple of girlfriends over at actually Cracker Barrel, which is one of my very favorites, especially at this time of year. Um, for dinner and we're doing a little favorite things gift exchange. So each person in attendance brings three of their favorite things um, like to give away as gifts. So everybody who comes gets to leave with three of each other's favorite things and you give away yours. I ordered three lip glosses from Buxom from Ulta and um, there's a color called White Russian, and it's like my very, very favorite. It's like a plumping lip gloss. I've been using it for years. And um, so I got three little sets of those. So they're really little, but sometimes good things come in small packages. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap those up. I might try to baby wear him and wrap them up here in the next couple of minutes um, so that they're ready for tonight. But I'm really excited about this. It'll be really fun to come home with three little gifties. Um, you know, of, of things that are my friend's favorite things. I love that idea. So I'm doing that this evening. I'm really looking forward to that. But between now and then, it's mom time. Oh, there you are. Look at that little profile. Um, have you noticed it's really hard for me to vlog when both of the kids are up? Like, I feel like every time I go through my footage to edit it, I'm like, mm, I don't have any footage of when the both of them are up because it's just, my arm's shaking holding this camera. Um, it's just not a priority, sorry. I'm trying to keep them happy and healthy. So I'm gonna see if I can wrap those little gifts up and when Nora gets up, yeah. we will do breakfast and get her dressed and maybe go to the park. It's beautiful outside. Okay, so here is the gift that I picked up. Um, like I said, I got it from Ulta and it is by the brand Buxom and it's two of their plumping lip glosses and the one is white Russian, which is the one that I've used for a long time that I really like. And the other one I thought was a beautiful like berry color for the holiday season. So I got three of those and then I actually picked this up last um, 
post-Christmas from Walmart. It's a Pioneer Woman brand. I thought it was really cute. It's like a teal check print. And then I have some red ribbon. So it's like a little modern Christmas twist. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these and I have Colin in the baby carrier strapped to my chest, which is why I'm swaying. I just finished wrapping all three of them. I think they turned out super cute. I'm having a really hard time focusing. <laughs> um, so that's perfect. That was a big win for me. And Colin's asleep on my chest and Nora's still asleep. I'm gonna go check on her now. Oh, you talking to me? What are you up to today, big boy? Oh. Oh. Hi, Boo. Oh, so many things to say. Yes. Merry Christmas, Happy December. That's right. Are you gonna suck your thumb? Oh. You just ate. You just ate. You just want to eat all day. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Oh, you are so sweet. Hi. Hi. All right, it's about 5.15 now and I'm supposed to be meeting my friends at 5.30. So Riley just got home. I just freshened myself up a little bit. I just have on, I'll show you my outfit actually in my mirror here in just a second. Um, and I'm heading out. I'm ready to have a little bit of a break. <laughs> I'm like, I just nursed the baby. I'm trying to rush out so that I can be out for a couple of hours and then come back and then nurse him, of course, right when I get back. But here's what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing jeans and my favorite Rothy's and uh, which are shoes and this light blue sweater. So I'll show you. All right. So I have these on. These are by Rothy's. I love them. These jeans are stretched. They actually don't have a button. They just have a stretchy waist. Otherwise I'd do like a little French tuck with this sweater um, and it's just like a light blue, kind of like a, um, a boat neck, which I think is pretty, that it's like a boat neck like that. So feeling good, feeling good in my new bod. So I am going to head out now. I'm so looking forward to a couple of hours out of the house, a good meal, a little favorite things gift exchange, seeing a few friends. I've been looking forward to it all day. I just got home from my dinner and sweet baby Colin has done great. And Nora's sitting up on the counter, which is her favorite little perch. And Riley, amazingly, put up our Christmas tree while I was gone. I was only gone for like almost three hours, actually, about two and a half hours. And it looks so good. We can just decorate it. Oh, I'm so glad it's up. Babe, wow. And it's even fluffed. Yeah. I can't believe you did that with both kids. I could never. It looks really good. Oh, I did get rid of the fall stuff, so that's good. All right, so let me show you what all I brought home. People loved my lip glosses. So one friend gave um, this, which I love, this Dr. Teal's Epsom, Epsom salt in the Soothe and Sleep Lavender scent and then the bubble bath as well. So that was her favorite thing that she brought. These actually go with this one. And then another friend did these hair clips, which I love. I don't have anything like these. They're really neat. And some of these kind of hair ties, which are already my favorite kind of hair Daddy. tie. And then she did Mama. these, uh-oh, hang on. And then she did these kind of fancy marshmallows that are dark chocolate dipped cold brew. And I opened them up so we could try them and they are so, so yummy. And then 
One of my friends, this was separate from this exchange, she bought this set of different books of the Bible and there's just like, this is just the Gospel of Luke. And so she was seeing if we wanted those and gave those to all of us, which was fun. So I got Luke, which I'm excited about. And then the last, so this was the one of them, this and the clips, and that was one of them. And the third one was this pair of really fuzzy socks and then a pair of pajamas. But she basically had like a pair of pajamas and then said that she was going to order them in our sizes and so and send them to us. So we got to all tell her our sizes. So I got a pair of pajamas, it was like perfect. A pair of pajamas, hair clips, delicious bubble bath stuff and yummy marshmallows. So it was super fun. How is it here with the kiddos? Great. Oh, look at him. He's so good. Is he comfy? Is he yeah, he's awake but really happy. Yeah, he's been that happy for a while. That outfit is so cute. Yeah. Norny Buck, did you have a fun time with Daddy? Uh -huh. You did? Watch Nora's trick. Nora, can you blow those out? Oh. Blow them out. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. So these are really neat. Just showing you all kinds of things. These are these flameless candles. I have had my eye on this set of three for quite a while, and I got them today for my birthday, which is really exciting, and I love them. And they come on a um, remote that Riley's holding. Can you show the remote? It reminds me of exactly of Colin's, um, the remote that is for the sconces in his nursery. But so R Riley's been playing with her and saying, blow them out. Job. You blow them out. You turn them on. Good job. So they are obviously flameless, but the, the wicks actually wiggle. So when you put them up on like a shelf or something, they really look real. I see them on people's Instagram stories all the time and I always want one. So I'm excited to have this little set of three. All right, I'm gonna get on PJs, nurse the baby, get these babies to bed. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Nora, did you have a good day? Uh-huh. You did? Uh -huh. Did you play? Uh-huh. Yeah. With daddy. With daddy. Uh-huh. Can you say good night? I know. Night night. Yeah. Nora, can you say I love you? Daddy. Daddy. Nora, can you say cool? Cool. <laughs> I taught her that. <laughs> say love you. Love I you. Say I love you. Are you? Are you? Good morning and happy Friday. I've got my baby in my carrier as usual. Nora's playing for a little minute. Um, I'm just wrapping up, kind of getting myself pulled together to some small degree. Um, I think I'm gonna go drive through and grab some coffee this morning and then we're gonna go stop by Riley's work so that <clears throat> the kid's grandmother, my mother-in-law, Riley's mom, can see the kids because today is the one year anniversary of Riley's grandfather's death. So it's her dad. It's my mother-in-law's dad. I feel like I could have said that in so many fewer words, but I'm just, I'm kind of tired. So anyway, you know what I'm saying. So just to bring a little cheer to her day, we're going to go stop by. Kids can love on her and give her some hugs and whatnot. And then I'm going to see if they're in good moods, if he's asleep, um, about going over to my office um, to edit last week's vlog because I, it's Friday and it's going to go up on Sunday morning. And I still haven't edited it yet. So um, that's what I'm hoping, hoping to do today. I just packed the diaper bag and made sure we have everything that we need in there. Nora looks adorable. You want to show your outfit? Nora, what are you wearing today, cutie patootie? Do you have your shoes on? Yeah. And that's your high chair? Oh, you want your chocolate milk? Okay. Say thank you. So sweet. It's about three o'clock now here on Friday afternoon. <clears throat> I have Colin sleeping here. Nora's at my feet playing. She's been building towers with the blocks I have. I'm up at my office 
and um, I edited last week's Thanksgiving vlog and I'm working on editing this vlog that you're watching right now. So I decided that I would wrap it up so that I can hopefully finish editing it and upload it and that way I will be ahead in my content schedule. Obviously, I am not doing Vlogmas this year where, you know, people vlog. I did it last year. It was really fun um, for the month of December. But um, because that's just a little bit too big of a commitment this year for me to do. But I hopefully will do it again next year because I absolutely loved doing it last year. Um, but I'm still going to be vlogging and doing weekly vlogs and getting into the holiday spirit, you know, that way. I do want to show you one thing. Um, my friend Emily is an artist, and a couple of years ago, was it last year? I think it was actually last year. Let me stand up. He's starting to get fussy. Um, last year, I commissioned from her a watercolor painting of a family member's house who just loves that house, and it's been in the family for like 100 years. And it was like the hit of Christmas. And so this year I commissioned from her a painting of my parents have a boat and um, they love going out and fishing or like going out and having a drink on it or whatever. Um, it's been a long time goal of theirs their whole life. It was my dad's like childhood goal was always to have like some kind of boat to fish on because fishing is his favorite, favorite hobby. And a few years ago, they finally got their boat and they just love it so much. So I commissioned a um, painting of it from her and she's been sending me her sketches and updates with it and it's gonna be so cool. I cannot wait to frame it and give it to them. Um, they will just absolutely, absolutely love it. They typically don't watch my weekly vlogs unless they know that they're gonna be in them. Especially my mom, she loves being on camera. <laughs> Um, so th this won't be spoiling any surprises, but I will have to show you it once I receive it from her because um, it is going to be so cool. But I wanted to share her shop with you. It's too late by the time this video goes up to get a Christmas commission, but she has a lot of downloadable prints that you could do. Or like for Valentine's Day, this would be the time to order for like Valentine's Day. I actually might do this for Riley. You can commission your wedding venue or your first date spot or your first house together or like really anything. If someone like loves a certain car that they used to have, you could commission her to paint that. It, she is like amazing and so great to work with. But I just wanted to um, share because it's such a great gift idea. And it's so unique and special. It's like the perfect gift idea for someone who has everything is like a really sentimental watercolor. It's just so cool. So let me show you her shop real quick and then I'm gonna sign off. Okay, so Emily's shop is called Emily Smallcomb Art. I will link it below. Um, and she is just, I love her style so much. So she has a bunch of things that are digital downloads that would be such great last minute gifts. Okay, this one for Disney lovers is so beautiful. It is, she painted this and it is the castle inside a snow globe. Look how beautiful that is. And so this would be such a great gift. Like you could buy it, have it printed and frame it. Look at that. I just love it. I just love it. Um, and so there's that, and then she has all kinds of other things. She has these cute little leaves, she has all these autumnal scenes, and then she, her favorite thing to paint is, or are pubs and bookshops pretty much are her favorite. And so like, if you are, you know, you go to Seaside, Florida, here's her, the Sundog Books one anyway. She just has some of the cool stuff, and she's a photographer, so she has some photography for purchase too. But um, you can message her on here if you, that's what I did, if you want to talk to her about, just click contact right here, about commissioning something, like I said, maybe for like a Valentine's Day gift. Um, but I just love her art and she's a dear friend of mine. We've known each other for years and years. We met online and I just love her. So go check her out, give her some support. Shop small this holiday season as much as you can. Um, and you know, this is just really, she's pretty amazing. I especially love this. Love it. Anyway, that I just had to show you that. And with that, I am going to wrap up this weekly vlog. Thank you for hanging out with us this week. I was really hoping to get Christmas decorations up, but we got the tree, Riley got the tree up and he put the lights outside. So we are like, we've gotten the ball rolling and I packed up fall, but we haven't really gotten there yet. So maybe in next week's vlog, I will be actually decorating our house. 
um, for Christmas. We will see. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with us this week. I'll see you next Sunday. Have a great week.